So I use the EcoBrew system and the filter, and I really do enjoy it. But the only thing I don't enjoy about it is that the uh, sediment and the oils are in my coffee. It really doesn't change the effect, but I just like having a nice looking cup of coffee. So I've purchased these simple cups, a hundred pack, and they do they do exactly what they're supposed to do. But the only problem I have is that they uh, don't descend into the EcoBrew system as far as I'd like, so I can't put as much coffee into the paper filter as I would like. So I've come up with a way to make my own simple cup paper filter. And this is what I've done. And this, as you can see, fits much deeper in, and I can use the amount of coffee that I like. So as I make mine, I just push it down in, and then there's plenty of room for the inside for as much coffee as you'd like to put in there. So I'll show you how to make your own paper filter. So I use a normal round coffee filter. I price these out and these come to about a penny a piece if you were to buy them in like quantities of 500 to 700. Uh, so I, I, I invert the filter and I flatten it down and I found this gives me the best um, the best working uh, so it doesn't rip. The other two things you need are two empty previously used carrot cups. Um, we remove the coffee and the filters. So I take one cup and I s turn it upside down. I take my filter and I center it on the top. I take the other cup and I press it down on top. There we go. So I formed my shape. I take a pair of scissors and I trim off any excess. Now I do leave this a little bit longer. Um, and the reason for that is when you go to remove it, it's nice to have a little bit of extra to grab from. So we separate this. Think of this as your mold. That comes apart. My paper pulls out. And there we are. So now I take my new paper filter push it down in and you can push this all the way down to the bottom we have quite a bit of room I get my coffee this is just normal ground it's nothing special I use one and a half tablespoons of coffee there's one tablespoon and here's a half still plenty of room now you might be you might at this point think why not just flop this all over and cover up the top? I've tried that. What happens is the water can't really paper penetrate the paper also. So you really do need to leave it open. I pull this paper back a little bit where the hinge is, and I just flop it down. Now we'll go over to our coffee maker. Now I like to set it in so my hinge is facing me. What I found is then it doesn't leak as much along here and you don't get as many of the coffee grounds as sometimes you might get down in this area. So we have our coffee cup. We'll place it under there. We'll close it down. And I'm hitting the large cup. Now, you might be able to hear the motor. You might not. But it's not under any stress. Um, I didn't overload the uh, Eco Brew. I found with the simple cups that um, because they were so much smaller that it actually caused a lot more back pressure in the system and therefore I like my way better because I think it's less likely to um, stress the motor. So there we go, our coffee's done. To lift up the unit, you can see it's a little bit of wet, which we would expect. Here's the cup of coffee. Um, no real oils, no real residue on top of it. So to me, it's just a good cup of coffee that's cheap, and it only cost me a, de a penny more to have it look nice too. So here we go, I pull out my little Eco Brew. Hold it by the sides because it's still kind of warm and then as I open it up, there we are. So now you always have to rinse it, you always get coffee grounds on top. But the beauty of this is, I just pinch it together 
and I pull it straight out and there's I separated my coffee grounds there's the inside clean and for my money I have a nice cup of coffee